our world is full of very many successful people. There are people who have really excelled in life. And I'm sure each and every one of us, there is somebody we admire because they have done very well in life or they are doing very well in life. But those people who have done well in life, they have not done well in life because they are qualified. They have not done well in life because they are working hard. They have not done well in life because they are stronger than others or smarter than others. They have done well because they have been favored by God. That is why life without grace is a waste. If hard work pays, which is also true, every hard worker should be on the same point. If education pays, then people with the same certificate should be having the same job. And that's why today God is calling upon us to understand the hand of God and the power of grace in our, ha in our lives to change our own story. This is what we are called upon to do today. And St. Paul in the first reading is actually testifying to the power of grace and the hand of God in his life. He's saying, I was a wretched man. I didn't deserve it. But the day God came to me, my life changed. This morning, when I was making a reflection on this, on this mass, one of the things I actually prayed and I said, I need to share with you, let us also pray that God may meet us on our paths. Because some of those paths are very painful paths. Some of them we are lost. Some of them we think we are doing what is right, but we are not doing what is right. But God does not choose who to bless. God does not choose who to elevate. God does not choose who to deny his blessings. He chooses freely who to uplift. And that could be me and you when we walk in the paths of the Lord. May God today encounter our lives and change our story. This is what is happening also in the house of Martha and Mary, her sister. God changing the story of Mary and Martha becoming very selfish and worn out. Sometimes, when we reflect on this, I always say, each and every one of us has a Martha inside them. And each and every one of us has a Mary inside them. The matter within us is that thinking that we can do it alone. That we don't need anybody. We don't even need God. We have gone to school. We have money. We have the power. We can do it alone. But the Mary within us is that spirit that listens to the Lord. Yes, I can do it, but how? The Mary within us is that spirit that sits and is very comfortable to sit at the feet of the Lord. That's why today, let us pray that Christ may talk to Martha within us, that Martha may not be worried about many things, but Martha may come to the Lord and also listen. While her service is important, her listening is also more important. And this is what we also need to pray in our society today. Where there is work without grace, there is competition, there is conflict, there is contest. Even as Christians, even as a family, where we are just living without grace, we fight a lot. And sometimes we fight what is supposed to help us. When somebody else has a talent, we think that person is coming to destroy ours, not to compliment where there is work without grace, there is a lot of selfishness. Me, myself, and I. Where there is no grace, there is a lot of envy. People becoming envious of other people's talents. When somebody is doing good, we are very sad. 
But when somebody is doing very bad, we are very happy and we celebrate. And sadly, this has even found its way in our Christian communities, in our church, and also in our families. Where sometimes you find even spouses, those who have vowed before God, somebody is happy because something bad is happening to a spouse. Where there is no grace, there is a lot of weariness. People are tired. That's why this morning, one of the things that indicates that we need grace is when you are tired with your mission. You are a tired mother. I'm a tired priest. I'm not tired, of course. I'm giving an example. You are tired. You want to run away. You are working, but you are very tired of that work. It means we are doing that work without grace. We are doing that work without the hand of God. We are doing that work without the power of God. And anything we do without the power of God cannot work because this world belongs to God. It reaches a moment like the Tower of Babel, but it crumbles. Today, God does not want us to crumble. He wants each and every one of us, like Paul, to rise to a new beginning, to rise to a new meaning in our lives, to rise to a new sense of focus, and to rise to a new sense of mission. We can only rise in Christ when we seek that Christ in everything that we do. In conclusion today, three things are important. One, being with the Lord in the loads of our lives, in the burdens of our lives, walking and working with God. And I always say this, do not try to carry the load of the Lord without the Lord of the load. Kikiting misigo manyasao mi, kionge giteko manyasaino. Anytime we carry the load of the Lord, without the Lord, we become very tired. That is exactly what happened to Martha. And it can happen to all of us. That's why we don't have to blame Martha, but we have to learn from Martha. When, you are, you want to do, when I want to be a priest without the power of God, the presence, I will be tired. If you are a parent, if you are doing any sort of work and you want to do that work without God, we will be tired. The world will wear us out. The world will wound us. The world will break us. Let us not carry the Lord of the Lord without the Lord of the Lord. And this is calling upon us to a second thing which is very important, deepening our prayer life. Deepening our prayer life. As Christians, we must enjoy. Just like we enjoy working, let us also enjoy being at the feet of the Lord. Listening to God. Listening to Jesus. It is okay to be active, to do many things, but let us also enjoy a sense of meditation. One of the things I have experienced in my life, that God does a lot of things when we have time to be with him. Being with, Lord, with the Lord in our prayer life, in the blessed sacrament, and by the way, many things happen at the at, at the feet of the cross and in front of the blessed sacrament. And as Christians, this is the Mary spirit, being with the Lord, listening and adoring the Lord. And that's why while we have time for other things, do we even have time for reflection? Because five minutes of prayer can build a whole nation. Two minutes of adoration can change a whole life. We need changes and this is something that we need to do, calling upon us to deepen our prayer life. And finally, we must live in faith that God will one day change our story. This is what the first reading is telling us. Our life may be messy today, but not messy forever. We could be crying, but we will not cry forever. We could be broken, 
but God knows what he will do with our broken pieces. Things may not be working today, but God knows how they will work. That is why let us live by faith. That is what St. Paul is telling us. When he received the grace of God, he began living by faith. We have received that grace in baptism. We have received them even further in the sacraments that we have received. We are receiving that grace in the Eucharist. Let that grace inspire a sense of faith and future in our lives. Let us not just look at our life now, but let us look at our life in the hand of God. That's why today, let us pray that God may hold our hands and walk with us and work with us and be glorified in our life and change our story and fill us with goodness. This cannot happen when we don't have time for God. Kawono wabedi gituolo marmi o nyasai bende tuolo engi mawa. Nikech gimona mona maber mati mora engi mawa. Gino nyasai mati mo dano en ngama nyap. Okonyal timu gima ber neno uon. Mane momi o kawono wane noka. Mata ul. Nikech engi paro mangeny. Kindu tiyo gi paro. Wan bende ntire jo krisus mangeny. Giti mo mabeto gitiyo gi paro. Nikech giti ati ya gi paro madano. To kawono... Jesus woyo gi matha moda kwa mga toka ngatu kwa mwa matha matha ango machandi weweche mangen bedi kaka maria bieti endi jesus mwane mumio ngatu nowe ni jesus tiyo to linga linga jesus bro tiyo to walinga linga to kawa linge ot kawa linge tiende kawa linge tiye sakramit matakatifu kawa linge seche maglemo wawinji gima jesus wacho Omiyo kawono wakwa nyasai, omi wachuny, marbedo kode, mwondo nema ne kod luete, olok si gandwa. May God change and transform our lives by the grace of the Spirit in this Eucharist.